Attention, prisoners. Republic soldiers have come to rescue you. All cells are being unlocked and opened now. Please hurry to the aft hangar bay. A supply transport is available to carry you away from this place. At last! Havoc! Hey there. We just wanted to thank you for springing us. No time for introductions before. I'm Major Fell, 82nd Armored. I always wanted to meet the head of Havoc. This is a real honor. Are your people gonna be all right? I think so. The imps weren't easy on us, but that's all over now. I guess you found us on account of Jack Cell. Is she over there? I'd like to thank her too, if I could. Jaxo gave her life so the rest of you could escape. Oh, we knew she was calling for help, but we had no idea. She should get a medal. Jaxo went way beyond the call of duty here. We'd all be dead if not for her. I'll be sure to suggest it to my CO. Thank you. It seems like the least we could do to try and repay her. I won't hold you up any longer. Thanks again, Major. From all of us. Fell out. I have to tell you, boss. I'm impressed. I wasn't sure I'd like coming back to the army. But it's worked out great. Mostly thanks to you. You sounded eager enough when you first got into Havoc. Well, I knew it'd be better than Balmora. But I didn't expect I'd like it this much. I've worked with a lot of people over the years. Stupid, greedy people I cut loose as soon as I could. But you? Actually useful. Even taught me a thing or two in a fight. It's a nice change. I enjoy working with you too, Vic. Of course you do. These ops wouldn't be any fun without me around. Come on, let's get back to that war I keep hearing about. What led you to sign up for the army? Did the enlistment officers know what to do with you? Sir, I was just going over a research article I've been writing for the Armed Forces Medical Science Journal. I'm... Well, I'm a bit nervous about it, actually. I've never had an article published in the journal. It's quite prestigious. What exactly did you write about? A simplified step-by-step -step process for rapidly assessing wounds and treatment options in combat situations. Just something I've developed during our various operations. I may not hear back for some time. There's quite a bit of writing in the medical field at the moment. One of the side effects of wartime. I'll just have to wait and see. Sir, I found information on weapons projects that Colonel Rebus was involved in. Would you like to hear about them? Go ahead, Forex. I got a few minutes. Most recently, Colonel Rebus was involved in the gauntlet superweapon that we so skillfully destroyed. He's had a hand in many other projects over the past 18 years. The Blight Matrix, the Galactophage, Subjugation Droids, even the Plasm Resource. Supposedly, he even designed a device that could permanently block hyperlanes, though the project was scrapped due to power limitations. Rebus sounds like an experienced mass murderer. It's unlikely that anyone in the galaxy has more experience in this field than Rebus. Once his new project enters the testing phase, we will stand a much better chance of locating Rebus himself. I will report to you as soon as I know more. I may have been wrong about you. It takes a lot to lead a squad like Havoc. Wasn't convinced you had it in you. Thought you were inexperienced, untested. But you've got good instincts. Turned out to be a first-class leader. Wait, let me record this. I need proof. Let's not make a big deal out of this. I'll admit, that business on Ord Mantell still irks me. 
But it landed me in the most elite squad in the Republic, under one of the finest commanders I've served with. So I can't complain too much. Havoc Squad calling General Garza, A-77 was a trap. We rescued most of the prisoners, but Sergeant Jaxo was killed in action. Hmm. I'm sorry to hear about Jaxo. But it sounds like you were very fortunate to save as many as you did. What happened exactly? General Racton had warships waiting to destroy A-77 and kill us all. Incredible. You did very well to escape a situation like that, Major. Tell me more about Sergeant Jaxo. Was she killed during the operation, or had she been recaptured before you arrived? Jaxo sacrificed her life to save the others. She deserves a posthumous award. Understood. I'll get the documentation started immediately. It's the least we could do. General Rapton is going to great lengths to remove havoc from the war. We're clearly on the right track. Let's keep the pressure on. Your next assignment is on a planet called Voss. I'm sending the coordinates now. Contact me as soon as you arrive. Garza out. Major, now that you've reached our Voss outpost, let's begin your briefing. Voss was first discovered by the Empire. As always, the Imperials' first thought was invasion, but the Voss people repel them with ease. Apparently, their mystics can predict the future with complete precision. Word spread quickly, and gaining the Voss as allies has become a top Republic priority. Do you want me to build up contacts with the locals? No, that process is already well underway. Our problem is with the strategy employed by the Republic's influential diplomat, Senator Evren. Evren is certain that the Empire will invade again, and he's withholding thousands of frontline troops to leap to Voss's defense. This cannot continue. Evren should leave the war to the professionals. He's a fool playing at strategy. Unfortunately, Evren is a close friend of the Supreme Chancellor and has his complete confidence. Even I can't overrule him now. Our only alternative is for your team to demonstrably destroy any and all invasion vectors the Empire has left. Once Voss is safe, we can get our troops back. Aren't senators supposed to be on our side? Most of them are, but few understand the realities of war. You'll begin by reporting to Senator Evren in his office in the alien enclave of Voskha, the planet's mountain capital. Evren has agreed to talk, but he still holds all the cards, Major. Conduct yourself accordingly. I won't give the Senator any reason to complain. Good. We have enough run-ins with the Senate as it is. Also, remember that Voss is neutral territory. Imperial personnel are just as welcome as we are, so make absolutely sure that your operations remain covert. Report back to me when the situation is dealt with. Garza out. Found our first customer boss, an Alderanian noble named Albrecht. He was into Magarin for quite a few credits. Once I work out the final details, it's all ours. Magarin's files didn't have everything we need? Not good a chance it. With Alderaan as torn up as it is, it's best to do some research first. I've got a good feeling about this, boss. I think this might just be the best plan I've ever been part of. Long as we're not kicked out of the military, we'll do pretty well for ourselves. What got you kicked out before? I don't remember half the list of charges. You know me. Like to keep busy. The last straw was a protection racket I ran while I was stationed on Talay. It was really fun while it lasted. The plan only worked for a few weeks before someone whined to the higher-ups. I was the ringleader, so I took most of the heat. Not easy being in charge, is it? Nope. Glad I don't have to deal with that nonsense anymore. I'll let you know when everything's lined up. Then I'll go pay the noble Lord Albrecht a visit. Sir, I'm afraid I need to request a brief leave of absence. It's Kanal. He's attempting to exploit a loophole in Investigative Appeals Process Subsection 4 in order to reopen his inquiry without new cause. I think it's time to introduce that scumbag to the roomier end of an airlock. That won't be necessary. 
I'm not going to give Kalor the time to carry his supposed investigation any further. I'm going to Coruscant. I have every message, every report, every call recorded. It's time to demonstrate to Kalor's superiors exactly what his supposed service to the Republic has accomplished. I'll come with you. With my word backing you up, you can't fail. You're very kind to offer, sir, but I need to handle this myself. Bringing a war hero along would seem like a diversionary tactic. I'll return as quickly as possible. Sir, I am ordered to report that I, Alara Dawn, personnel number 22795, am no longer classified as a person of concern. The personnel division of the Army of the Galactic Republic has declared that I am to be treated as a fully protected legal citizen, effective immediately. But tell me everything. What about Kalor? Kalor never saw it coming. When I exercised my right under Service Code 1 to an immediate personnel hearing, he was literally speechless. I demonstrated documentation for every moment of his pointless investigation. Once the man hours and expenditures were totaled, it came to thousands of credits wasted in wartime. I assume Kalor won't be working for personnel division anymore? I'm not privy to his employment status, but I suspect you're right. I still can't believe this day has finally come. The suspicion, the reservations, the endless questions. They've been a part of my life for so long, but no more. I am a citizen of the Galactic Republic. It's great to see this happening for you. Thank you so much. I've never felt prouder to be serving the Republic. Let's return to the front lines. I want to go back to doing my part. You don't need some time to let the saw settle in? No. There's nowhere I'd rather be than fighting with my fellow soldiers of the Republic. <laughs>